thought I'd show you a little bit of what I've been messing with. Uh, I've been trying to put the headliner in the car. It's uh, proven to be a little bit of a chore because I didn't realize I, the, re, the reason I'm saying this I didn't realize that the roof wasn't straight. If you look at how it fits the uh, windshield, it's it's a little bit tied up here and it's a little wider down here and on that side it's the exact opposite. And it's not off much, but you know that cowl was bent. The back half of the car had been gutted so, I guess something moved. The, the doors both fit great and open and shut good. And trunk lid fits good. Uh, front end fits good, you know. But when you have a car down as far as I had this one, I feel like I'm lucky that the headliner even, even fits at all. But... Uh, you know, you gotta do relief cuts at the turns, and you gotta, at the rear window, and you gotta pull it down different, and you gotta do all kinds of stuff, but it's looking like the best I can do. It's still gonna have a little bit of a wrinkle here and there, but that's just as good as you can do when you're working with the junk that I'm working with. The uh, rods in the roof for the headliner are the ones out of the car out of out of this car so over at the rear pillar on the driver's side i had to straighten it and uh things just they're not perfect and i'm going to settle for that because uh i went above and beyond using everything i can from this car and if that means the headliner's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a wrinkle because of it, then that's fine. Kind of, you know, anything's better than nothing. I didn't realize that uh, the rear took tax strips, or I might have tried to buy a set of those. But uh, I'm gonna let these dry a few days they were out on the roof that's getting rained on right now but they've been getting wet a long time i'm going to let these dry a few days and then i'm going to wire brush them up and clean them straighten this one that one's the one on the roof as you can tell that hit a pole that hit a tree right here right here should be like that one it's like this one so uh i'm gonna clean them up and i guess uh glue it real good with some good glue and maybe maybe try to tack it but it depends may just put uh put a staple through it who knows you know a good staple with a washer or something but uh yeah That'll be, that'll be getting a video, finishing it soon, but I wanted to show you that I am working on it. Something that I thought was neat. I don't know why I like using that word so much. Neat. But something that I thought was pretty cool. Now everything in that car was jock, was, was, shot to this junk if it could degrade or break down or rust or whatever it did it because it didn't have a back window in it the uh car was on the ground and stuff starts leaking and before you know it everything's rusted but uh something i thought was pretty cool Those are fragile. Those are the original sun visors. 
Here the headliner down, was down on the floor forever. Bees got in that car, uh, mice, everything. Everything was shot. Somehow, a set of sun visors that stayed against the windshield for 48 years, somehow or another, exist. Now, they're brittle. They're very brittle. It's going to have to warm up before I'll ever even try to put them in the car. But, I'm going to carefully clean those with a dry rag. And I'm going to screw them up to the roof. And I want to make sure that they're how they're supposed to be. And then I'm not touching them. And it can just have a set of sun visors that happen to be the originals. Even if that don't mean if even if that means that don't match the headliner that's in it, and it doesn't. The uh, this piece does, but the material's light. Who says that's wrong? You know, maybe my headliner's wrong. Maybe this is what it's supposed to be. The thing is, is uh coat hooks right that match that matches what I've got so uh yeah I thought I'd show you this this uh, bunch of stuff soon uh, next video will be a Halloween special video so, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed that. Until next time, bye.